tonight, chilling video taken by a 20 year old woman who was murdered just moments later. Her 18 year old boyfriend accused of pulling the trigger that ended her life. It's the sixth domestic violence homicide in Macomb County in the past two months. 7 Action reporter Andre Isom joins us live with more on this story and what the prosecutor is saying about this tragic case. Andrea. You know, guys, we've all been doing this job for a very long time. We've seen a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Law enforcement, they are frustrated, they're alarmed, and we all should be. You know, everything about this case is awful, and, and, and this certainly just adds to it. Because this is what 20-year-old India Mackey saw and heard mere moments before she was murdered. You think I'm <laughs> playing, huh? Okay. You think I'm playing, huh? Hit you with this big 4-5 hollow tips, gonna eat your those angry, hate-filled words and despicable actions from her boyfriend, 18-year-old Kevin Dixon, police say, a young man who was supposed to love India, but this is anything but. This video is being taken by a woman who's going to be killed in moments mm -hmm. is, is unbelievable to me. The idea that he's pulling the bullet out, wiping his fingerprints off, showing it to her. And it chills you to the bone, says Macomb County Prosecuting Attorney Eric Smith, and I agree. The last thing her family has of her is the video where she is pointing the camera at the man who's going to kill her. But after he shoots her, gets out of his car, pushes her over into the passenger seat and takes off driving in the car. Smith says India was shot inside a van outside of this home on Shirley Street in Warren. But according to cops, Dixon's criminal behavior did not end there. East Point PD gets all these calls about a white van that's that's driving erratically over the road. They stop the car and they find her dead in the passenger seat. Dixon was arrested and is now facing first degree murder, carrying a concealed weapon and felony firearm charges. Dixon's bond was denied, so he sits behind bars. But that is not all that went down in court. We charge his mother as well. He takes his girlfriend's phone, the, the, this poor woman that was shot, and calls his mother on the phone and says, Mom, go to the house and get the gun. So we charge her with accessory after effect and tampering with evidence. In Macomb County alone, in just the last couple of months, law enforcement has seen six domestic violence homicides. It's sad, startling, and alarming. If you think you are in danger, mm -hmm. please get yourself to safety. Call the national hotline. Call Turning Point. There, right. are, there are options available to get you out of your situation to protect yourselves. And we do this all the time, and I'm, I'm so happy to be able to at least, you know, use this to tell other people. Yeah. Maybe it saves somebody. Let's pray that it does save some lives. There will be a vigil tonight in memory of sweet little India at 8 o'clock. We'll put all the information on our website, WXYZ.com. Just a sad, sad story, you guys. Back to you. Yeah, just so hard to watch that video in such a tragic ending. All right, Andrea, thank you.